Steve, I, listen, I don't want to stand out here all night and, and talk, because we really do have a long and good show for you this evening. We're going to take a highly personal look at 1967, and we're going to start the show off by showing you what happens to a man when his wife becomes involved in one of the major trends of the year. Hurry up, darling. We're going to be late for the Stern's anniversary. Did you get the presents? They've been married for five years. You know, it's their glass anniversary. Yes, honey, I got them some storm windows. <laughs> Dressed, Stop kidding around. Put on a skirt and let's get out of here. Darling, this is a skirt. This is what I'm going in. You must be joking. You think that I would go to a party with two nakeds? Now, what's the matter? Look, honey, let me tell you about legs. From the knees to the floor goes to the party. Above the knees stays in the house. Honey, I'm paying $40 for this skirt. Now, everybody's wearing them. Oh, really? I saw a picture of Dean Rusk this morning. He had on a dark suit. They're wearing them eight inches above the knee. Honey, you don't have eight inches above the knee. <laughs> Sweetheart, what would you like me to do? To dress like your mother? And what's wrong with the way my mother dresses? She dresses like Dean Rusk in a dark suit. Guess my mother doesn't parade around in uh, mini skirts. Your mother is 75 years old. They don't make orthopedic mini <laughs> Look, let me put it this way to you. We're going out in public. I don't want other men to see your legs, all right? Is that clear? Because those are no longer just your legs. You know, when we got married, I paid $2 for those legs. <laughs> those are the family legs now, you know? Now cover up the family legs or I'm going to knock out the family teeth. <laughs> Honey, will you take off that dress? What are you trying to be? Hep? Hip, not hip. Hip, hip. Will you stop that left wing talk? <laughs> what I get for buying her an FM radio. <laughs> Sweetheart, I'm a mature, intelligent adult. And I've given this matter a great deal of consideration. And I've come to a decision. We don't freak out enough. <laughs> we freak out plenty. I took you to your parents' house for dinner Sunday. That was the biggest freak out I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. Well, it would have been if you knew how to groove stuff, shirt. You dare to stand there and tell me that I don't know how to groove? A man with a tremendous collection of Andre Castellanos records. Now take that skirt off. If I wanted to live with a hippie, I would have married Dr. Spock. Sometimes you are really insipid. I'm insipid? Yes. You lack sipid. <laughs> You know what you are? You're pseudo-hip. Pseudo-intellectual. Pseudo, pseudo. I say the P because I'm not a phony. It's there, so I pronounce pseudo, for psychology, for pneumonia, for tomain. Get the door. Take that off. It's ridiculous. Hi, Willie. Sorry, I'm late. My wife can't address. She'll be here in a minute. Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hello. Uh, hello, John. <laughs> Boy, you look wild. Well, thank you, John. Uh, you look pretty neat yourself. <laughs> you. Can I take your coat? Oh, thanks. I've already eaten. <laughs> hey, you know, I see you in the neighborhood quite often. I never realized you had such a groovy figure. Well... John, why don't you make yourself comfortable? <laughs> Let's <your hands off. laughs> Man, are you kidding? Your wife's got a knocked out set of pins, pal. <laughs> Darling, you want to do me a favor? What? Take your skirt off or I'll break your neck. <laughs> Go ahead, I'll dance with John. Go ahead, take it off. John, 
John. Why can't you dress more like John? Because I buy in a men's store. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's wrong with this outfit? I bought this at the Hobbit shop, one of the finest men's boutiques in Greenwich Village. <laughs> Julie Christie buys all her clothes there. <laughs> For what you say, I am not going out in public with a person who wears a dress like that. Oh. Get with it, man. It's 1967. They look cool in those dresses. Uh -huh. John, you're white. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, John has a good wife. Oh, come in. I beg your entire legs. Oh, hey, 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 change that Just dress. She said it was 1967. Yeah, but her legs are showing. It's 1967 for your wife. For my wife, it's 1945. Take off my dress.